Hey everyone, you're probably here because you're either about to get on the road or you hope to someday get on the road or maybe you're a newbie and you're already on the road and you're a little worried about how you're going to get around, how you're going to find your way, especially if you're not maybe that technology savvy or you don't think you are. So today I am going to teach you everything that you need to know to learn how to navigate using just your smartphone and Google Maps. My name is Carolyn. I've been on the road since 2016, living full-time solo in my RV with my dog. My dog now is Sadie, and I've been making videos about it, and I have traveled just about to every state. I have boondocked in national forests and deserts all across the country, and my cell phone and Google Maps are invaluable tools for helping me find everything you know from laundromats in the town that i'm going to to post offices if i need to get my mail and camping i use google maps a lot to find some amazing boondocking spots so today i'm going to take you through everything you need to know to be able to use google maps and gps I'm going to be breaking down today's class into four different sections. Number one, I'm going to teach you how to get Google Maps on your phone. Number two, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Maps, how to set it up for voice navigation and things like that. I'm going to go through some of the main settings and to get you started. Number three, I'm going to teach you how to navigate using Google Maps. And that's going to include how to set a pin, how to find a GPS coordinate, how to navigate to a GPS coordinate, how to set your GPS coordinate to share and things like that. And finally, in the fourth section, I'm going to teach you how I find some of the most amazing and best camping that you will find on any app using Google Maps. Okay, before we get started with some of the best, in my opinion, features of Google Maps, we're going to need to download a couple of things. Number one, you're going to want to make sure you have the Google app downloaded on your phone and the Google Maps app downloaded on your phone. So whether you're on Android or iPhone, you should be able to go to whatever Play Store you use and download the Google app app and the Google Maps app okay so Google is gonna look like this on your phone so right there that's what your Google app is gonna look like and the Google Maps app you can see is right next to it okay I think one of the best things about Google Maps especially as a full-time nomad is being able to just talk to your phone to navigate wherever you want to go <clears throat> hey Google navigate to the nearest post office all right, United States Postal Service. Okay, Google, navigate to the nearest gas station. Okay, yes way. So to me, especially being solo and not having a co-pilot, this is my co-pilot. So you're gonna need the two apps that I just talked about in order to be able to do this. Once you have the Google Maps app down downloaded on your phone, I'm sorry, once you have the Google app downloaded on your phone, to get your Google Voice Assistant activated, just hold on to your home button. Your home button, if you're on Android, is on the bottom, the little square. Just hold that. And on the bottom left, you'll see a little symbol with little things coming out of it. Go ahead and click on that. And it says, Unlock More Google Assistant Features Get Started. So go ahead and click on that and click Continue. Access your Google Assistant with Hey Google. This is where you get that set up. Once you have your Google Assistant set up, you can do all kinds of things. Okay, Google, set my alarm for 7 o'clock. Okay, Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. I use it for cooking and all kinds of things. But the best thing and the purposes of this class is you can navigate. Okay, Google, navigate to the post office. Okay, Google, whatever. And we're going to get to more on that in a minute. So that's how you get everything all set up. Once you get it set up, uh, so that's Google, the, the Google app and the Google Voice app. Next, let's look at your Google Maps app, okay? You've got your, hopefully you've downloaded your Google Maps. Now your Google Voice Assistant is set up so that you can just say, hey, Google, navigate to Albuquerque. It's a two-hour and 57-minute drive to Albuquerque. Are you sure you want to navigate there? There you go. You're all set up. But now what you want to do is open up your Google Maps. 
okay? And go to the top right hand corner where your picture is, choose settings, and you might as well get familiar with what's under settings. So as you start using the app, different things are going to come up. You're going to want to maybe expand what you can do. So just study the screen to see what your options are and go to um, navigation settings. There you go. And you can set all your settings to your preferences, okay? So there you go, you're all set up. You now have Google Maps on your phone and you can use voice navigation now to make your life so much easier as a nomad. So I think I've already demonstrated how to use it by voice, but why don't we talk about how to use it manually? There's a couple things here that I think you, it, it, you need to be familiar with. Number one, go ahead and open up your Google Maps app. It's going to show you, my screen shows me where I am, but sometimes it doesn't, especially if you're driving and your location is off on your phone or it, 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 gets, it doesn't pick up the, the cell tower where you are right away. Sometimes it doesn't show you exactly where you are. So on the bottom right, there is a little circle. It's like it's a compass, basically. It's a little circle with things coming out. Press on that, and it'll actually show you exactly where you are. So that is the basically pinpoint on me icon. And once you do that, you can you can play with the screen. You can you can put your fingers on it to scroll this way. There you go. That way, if you want to zoom in, you pinch it. If you want to zoom out and see what's around you, you know. In this case, I can look at the calendar and or, I mean I can look at the map and I can see there's restaurants around me so that's how you use it and the next thing to be aware of is the arrow below that and the arrow is actually showing me some of the recent things I asked Google to find post office Albuquerque so I can just for quick reference I can click on the arrow and I can say okay um, I, yeah, go ahead and navigate to the post office and I click on that and it'll navigate. Also at the top of the screen, it'll show, it, it lists little bubbles with restaurants, gas, parks, hotels, groceries. So you can just click on any of those as well and it'll instantly show you uh, with dots on a map. Look at that. With dots on a map, it'll show you what's around you. Now, if you find one, you're like, okay, United Supermarkets looks good. I want to go to United Supermarkets. Just click on it. Just click on it. It'll bring it up on the bottom. It'll show you a box, some information about it. You can call them. You can get the address. But you can also just click on directions. Okay? And it's going to guide you, voice guide you, to that supermarket. Okay? But also, if you just happen to be, you know, in an area and you're like one of those planner types and you want to know where the grocery stores are around, you can also pin it. So there's an option on the bottom of this screen to pin. And once you have the place that you want to go pinned, and it has the root pinned, it doesn't have the location, it's not like a star in the location, but it has the actual root pinned. So you've been at your camp a couple days, you're like, okay, I want to go grocery shopping, where was that grocery store? Pull up your app, open it, at the bottom you'll see go, and your newest pins are on the bottom. So United Supermarket, there we go. Just click start and there you go. It's gonna navigate you to the supermarket. How cool is that, right? It's just like having a co-pilot in your pocket. It does so much for you. So that was how to use it. I taught you how to use the voice app to navigate wherever you want to go and I also taught you how to use some of the most important or the most used features on the app itself that you're probably going to use while you're on the road. So now the third part I'm going to teach you is how to navigate to a certain location. Let's use freecampsites.net for this, okay? I'm, I'm looking for a place that is listed on freecampsites.net. 
So I go to freecampsites.net, and in the description, and if you don't know, it's an uh, online app for free that you use to find different campsites, and they always have a link that takes you to the GPS coordinates of that link. So it gives you the GPS coordinates right in there, but it also gives you a link that says Get Directions. That Get Directions, if you have Google Maps on your computer, which I do as my default, it'll open up the Google Maps and show me on the map where that uh, location is. And then on the left hand side, it'll open up a uh, an option bar. Basically, where do you want to navigate to that location from? Home, work, or um, some other places that maybe you've been or that you've pinned. If you choose the compass at the top, it'll say your location and voila, there you go. It'll start for figuring out how to get to that destination using my location. I'm going to be honest though, so the location on my computer is not turned on, it's not accurate, so you might have to type in an address if that's the case with you. But what's really cool about this is you can send directions to your phone. So click on send directions to your phone and you, can, you might have to set this up if you haven't already been using it, text to your cell phone. There we go. It's, it's a hot link, a, a link that I can just click to use on my phone. I click on that link, it opens up Google Maps, and it's if I'm not in the path of that route, it's going to just give me a preview. If I'm already in the path, it's going to say start and it'll start navigating me. But because my location was off on my computer. So here's what you do to solve that though. On the top bar, so the top bar is the GPS coordinate for the location my computer thought I was at. You want to put your cursor there. You want to back up because the location on my phone is accurate, I'm going to back up and erase those GPS coordinates that were automatically populated, and I'm going to click my location. There you go. See? And now it knows where I am, and it's going to give me the option to start. Voila. So then it's going to start navigating me to that camp that I found on freecampsites.net using the link that they provided texting it to myself. Does that make sense? And there we go. Now I'm going to be navigating. If you use freecampsites.net on your phone, you can just click the link in freecampsites.net and it'll automatically start navigating you from your location. But uh, a lot of times what I'll do at night, if I'm getting ready to move the next day, I'll be on my laptop, I'll be exploring camps and things like that. So another thing that's really important for you to know is how do you get your GPS uh coordinate. How do you know where you are? Let's say you want to send a GPS coordinate to a friend. This is where I am. Come find me. I'm going to show you now how to do that. Open up Google Maps. Use this compass to pinpoint where you are. Scroll in tight. So, you know, open it up. Is uh, Zoom in to the blue dot. That blue dot on here is me. Hold and press that blue dot. And now I have a dropped pin, okay? That dropped pin is me. Now what I can do is I can save it. And you see I have different playlists here from different pins that I have saved. I'm going to create a new list just called test. And this is really cool. You can either set your, your lists to private, shared, or public. So if you wanted, if you have a friend or family who wants to keep tabs on you, all you have to do is drop your pin, put it in a shared folder. I, you probably want to put shared, not public. And then you share it probably via email address or text with whoever you want to have access to that. So that whenever you get to a new camp, you just drop a new pin and they always know where you are. Really, really cool habit to get into, right? So again, I'm going to go through that again. You want to drop a pin to where of where you are, okay? So you want to share this pin with other people. 
I highly recommend using the list so that you can just share the list, but I'm going to show you how to share it in other ways. Open up the, the Maps app. Use the compass to scroll in on your location. Your blue dot is you. Just press that blue dot until dropped pin comes up on the bottom. Save it. Save it to your shared list if that's what you're doing. If you have a friend, or maybe you even have a friend that you caravan with, and you're like, hey, I'm at a new spot, dropped a pin, go ahead and check, look for it in the saved, you know, our shared camp list or whatever that is, okay? Save it in the list, and then anybody who has access to that list can see it. You can also push the shared right there, okay? So if you want to share it, click on that. And it gives you different options for sharing, okay? You can share it with contacts in your phone. You can share it by Gmail. You can share it by chat. You can share it by text. All your options are there. You can also copy. So click here. You can also copy that to your clipboard, which is usually what's easiest for me. And then just open up your text. And then you can paste the coordinate into the text box and you can send it that way too. Okay? Do you have any questions about that? So that's how you drop a pin. That's how you share a pin. And again, you know, if you've got family or friends who just would feel more comfortable or even if you would feel more comfortable just letting people know where you are, so go ahead right now, set up a, a shared folder of, call it My Camps, and every time you get to a new place, just get in the habit of dropping a pin and saving it there. Really, really good safety idea that I just thought of <laughs> as I was doing this, all right? So the final thing I want to show you is one of my favorite tools for finding camps that that aren't going to be crowded, that all uh, most other people um, may not know about, okay? So again, open up your Google Maps app, okay? Let's say we want to find, let's say tomorrow I am heading to Santa Fe. Enter Santa Fe in the uh, search bar. See Santa Fe in the search bar. And then click on it. And the map is going to take me to Santa Fe, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the National Forest over here, okay? And I'm going to start looking for roads. I see a really interesting road right there. You see the squiggly road? So I'm going to zoom in. Now what I want to do, so this is the, I don't even know what this is called. This is the default view of Google Maps, okay? But when I'm looking for camp in the forest or in the desert, I so this little button up here on your top right-hand corner underneath the search bar, that's your layers icon. There are different layers that you can choose to view the map. I am going to switch to, and you'll see here, you've got street view, you have public transit, you have traffic, if you wanna see what the traffic is like where you're going. One of my favorites is the satellite view. See that? I click satellite view and all of a sudden, instead of just a blue line on the road, I can see the actual road, the actual satellite view of the road. And look at that, there's a pullout. I want to go there and check that out. That might be a spot that I can at least spend the night. You see that pull out? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my finger there and hold it. Ta-da! Look at that. You see the little red marker that comes up? That's a pin. Dropped pin. Ha! Now what I'm going to do is, because I'm just leaving right now, I'm just going to hit directions. Navigate me to that dropped pin. Yeah, it's that easy. That's it. That's how I find so many of the great camps on my own. If you, you can also pin it. So, you know, I'm going to make a stop or two along the way. I want to remember where that is. So I'm going to pin it, which again, remember that means that when I open up my Google Maps, I can just click go. And there it is at the bottom. I can just continue to navigate there. Yes. How cool is that? So I think I covered a lot. 
I think that covers everything that I wanted to cover with you today. I mean, that's a pretty good crash course in how to download Google Maps, how to use Google Maps, how to set up your Google Assistant so that you can do voice navigation. You have everything you need for a co-pilot right here so that you never get lost, so that you can always find a post office or a grocery store, so that you can find camping, so that you can share your location with friends and family whether they're coming to join you or not. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you all so much. That was lots of good information. We are so fortunate to have such wisdom and expertise in the nomadic community. Support the RTRs by clicking on the blue donate button on this YouTube page. 100% of your donation supports HAWA. Finally, get those sweepstakes tickets by January 26, 2022. You could win. No purchases necessary. Thanks much and we'll see you down the road.